What's up guys? Uh, it's time to do a Photoshop Your Ride episode. A user, Braden, sent me in pictures of his uh, 1976 280Z. This is a sweet car. He took really good pictures. There's a good front one and a good side one. Good contrast, good lighting, um, and that's why I chose his car. He's got some sweet mods he wants me to do to it. I'm gonna do those mods and then I'm gonna put my own touch on his ride. If you want me to touch your ride, Shoot me an email at chris at bsforbuild.com. If you've already emailed me there, I still got your ride. No need to resend it. Unless you take better quality pictures, then go ahead and resend. Um, I think it's time to get to work. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started getting editing. I'm sorry I have to talk kind of quietly. My roommate's really sick, and I don't want to keep her up. It's like 2 in the morning right now. That's the beauty of doing this stuff. If I'm not out of the shop, I can stay up till two in the morning. So first thing we're doing is I'm grabbing the pen tool, I'm running around the whole car, and I'm cutting out the car from the background. Uh, not that I don't like this dude's uh, driveway. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, but I think it's gonna make the car look a lot better if we put it on a, a more fun backdrop. So the first thing I always do is I grab the car, cut out the car, and then I cut out the shadows. Uh, I'm not really super good at perspective and different things with shadows and lighting, so I like to use any help I can get and normally that's taking the original shadows with it. So I grabbed this uh, picture of this road that I liked. Um, props to whoever took it. I don't know who it was. I should do better at giving credit. But uh, anyway, so I wanted to just find something where the light sources weren't gonna contradict with the car too much. Um, and this is a good one. So you don't see these, you don't see any shadows really sticking out too far. So the next thing we gotta do is get rid of everything that, um, you know, where you're seeing the old green grass through here. So desaturating the side mirror, um, removing the, that window, which we'll pull back later. Right here, I'm just screwing around. I was, oh yeah, so that's my note. We gotta remove all the green stuff. Um, so we desaturate the whole uh, car, the paint job and stuff like that. I'm rebuilding the window there. Um, Cause we basically cut it out and deleted it. So Brayden uh, wanted some uh, JDM fender mirrors. And uh, so I found a car online that had some and this car actually ended up being pretty good for uh, a lot of stuff. I really like these mirrors. I think they're super rad. I, I really enjoy them. So uh, we had a little accident there where I accidentally paused the video for too long. So um, anyway, so the mirrors are on there and we'll screw with them later. He also wanted some uh, bronze uh, Volk uh, TE37s. So we got some of those. Um, I pulled those off of a BMW and then I went searching. I had to go find another car and I found a, this uh, Skyline that has some that I think were uh, just a little bit better uh, to use for this for this car. So you gotta line those up, grab the right perspective, um, and then uh, and then we're throwing them on there. A lot of uh, a lot of this stuff with tires, you know, you want to try and not get too much lighting, not not too much, and not in the wrong way. These definitely had the wrong light source uh, for the build, so we had you know you gotta kind of uh, darken some things in there, so you can use the burn tool in Photoshop to do that. Oh yeah, so mentioning tool sets, I'm using Adobe Photoshop uh, CS, um, and that's the uh, program that I use. Um, to do all this work. I have a tablet, um, like a drawing tablet, but I don't really use it because um, I'm not very good at drawing. <laughs> so here I'm working with a little bit of shadows. Um, I have a, I tend to just, you know, if, if you don't know what to do, just make it darker and it'll kind of help out. Uh, here I, I wanted to darken the window louvers a little bit. They looked a little, a uh, little sun worn. And uh, I'm trying to make the windshield match up now with the uh, pavement a little bit more because it's a, a much lighter picture than what it came from. Uh, so I was trying to lighten that up. As well as we had a shadow from like a tree or something and I was trying to modify that tree shadow a little bit. So here I'm going back after the um, the light, the front fender, or the mirror, the front fender mirror by just using the side mirror that was on the car um, and kind of changing that perspective around and a little bit of uh, stuff like that. And then we have to come back in here and um, remove where the old mirror was. So we're filling in, we're using the stamp tool and we're just kind of copying and pasting a couple different uh, colors and and, and uh, patches of color in here the best we can. And it's actually, we got pretty lucky. This actually came out pretty good in the end. Um, sometimes these are some of the harder parts. Um, I think after I took a look back for a while, uh, you know, I wanted to change the wheel contrast a little bit. So the last thing that Braden wanted, so he wanted the side, the fender mirrors, he wanted the those Volks on there in bronze, and he wanted some fender flares. So I got a, a set of fender flares, 
and uh, I was throwing these on. I hope you wanted them in black. That's a, kind of the standard. Like they come in plastic, and a lot of people do them in black. So that's kind of the standard. I went ahead and threw them on here. Fender flares can be a little bit tricky because it's really hard to grab perspective correctly. It's either you know going to be covering up the wheel or it's not. And I played around with that a lot. It was it was hard to get something that I felt that looked good. Once I got them on there, I was, I was just working with uh, different shadowing and stuff to make the car seem like they, they were really on there, get the right perspective and things like that. I find that doing a stroke around them and then lowering the opacity of that can help out a little bit. And then I did something that's crazy that you can't just do on your in a real car was I just grabbed the whole car and lowered the front down comparable to the back so I rotated the entire car a little bit. Uh, so that, that's not something you can easily do on, on your own at home, but uh, in the graphics world you can do it in couple seconds so that's very nice a little bit of a hack there so I think we're getting done with the version that Braden asked for um, yeah right here so we that's it but now I'm saying it's my turn I'm gonna go ahead and do what I would do to it so this is what I would do to it if I was basically photoshopping or owning it this would be some of the things that come to mind with me so I'm, I'm darkening out the windows all the way so I'm just basically doing a full tint job on all the windows uh, you'll notice that on a lot of my cars is like way illegal tint just as far as I can get away with and still be able to see out of took that gray interior or the tan interior made it um, uh, black interior uh, shaving out the rear um, I don't know ambers I saw that little uh, thing that was on there and I thought, oh, that'd be cool. So do, do some canards in the back there and that got me kind of in arrow uh, thinking mode. So then I built a uh, diffuser in the back and a couple times I'll come back and make it bigger and bigger. Grab the rear wing, make it even bigger, make it black just to kind of contrast and match those window louvers that are black. Um, I don't know what I'm doing now. Just zooming around like a maniac. Uh, playing around with some burning. So then I went to the front uh, front amber or whatever that is. I don't know if that's a turn signal or that's just an amber or what that is, but got that on there and um, took it out and made it flush. Now I'm uh, coming around, I'm grabbing all the chrome and I'm gonna black out all the chrome. So if you're trying to do this at home, you know, you can tell it's a lot of uh, using the wand tool, selecting different layers, and then take that layer and uh, modify that layer and, and, and put it over the other layers or, or delete the layer below it and stuff like that. So now I was playing around like, oh, can I get a GTR front bumper on there? And I was looking at the other... Uh, the other thing that we had and then I started jumping on Google and I found some aero stuff there that I liked and then I was I don't know what made me think about this rocket bunny thing but what's better you know <laughs> rocket bunny everything right so uh, I was like oh I'm gonna give this a shot I really didn't think it would come out um, looking even half decent but once I got the color matched down really well I decided to kind of stick with it so um, this isn't something that you could do in real life I mean it would be a completely custom made part um, and be very very time consuming to do uh, but since we're in the graphics world you can just do it you know willy-nilly man just don't even worry about it so I'm, I'm throwing in that front splitter there trying to get the shadows right and uh, you know just trying to play with this thing to get it to look right and you, you'll notice like you know a lot of the shadows in the front are no longer making sense and you'll have to come back and fix those up so then I grabbed some of the arrow off of this uh, I don't know what that was I think that was an NSX that I found on Google I come in and made, a, made an entire layer just for shadows and then uh, you know you lower the opacity of that layer makes it a little bit transparent and then I came in and did another layer of um, of, of serious shadows that, that really need to be there to make it uh, make these things look right so lighten some of those things up And now I was thinking about color change. So I don't normally, I wouldn't normally drive a, a red car. You know, they say like get a car that's the color of a t-shirt that you would wear. I don't wear a lot of red shirts, you know. So I was playing around with gray. I like gray. I love the color gray. I like black cars. And then I got thinking like, well, like I had a, I had a Nissan when I was in high school. I had this 300ZX and I had it in the maroon, maroon color. I really liked it. So I wanted to kind of do it like as an homage to that car, go maroon. So. I made it maroon. I saved a copy of this. I did like it. 
as maroon. And then I went back and played with black a little bit. And uh, in the end, I liked red. I thought red was the best, and that is how I finished that car. And I, uh, I really liked the way this car turned out. Braden had an awesome car to start with, so that really helped. Um, you know, the, the, the lighting was really good, the contrast was really good, so it was, evil, it was easy to, to work with and, and get other things to match. I think it came out really, really great. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how to do the Photoshop technical stuff or, or if, it, if the Photoshop stuff's boring and you don't want to hear about it, let me know, you know, because I, I can tune these, I can tweak these a little bit, because I don't know if people are trying to actually learn how to do Photoshop or they're just enjoying watching and um, want to watch car get made. Anyways, this was an awesome build. I hope you guys liked it. All right, guys, that's it for our Photoshop and you'll ride episode. Um, thanks to uh, Braden for sending in pictures of his awesome 76 280Z. Uh, this was a really fun car to work with. We went from the picture on the left to the picture on the right in about two hours, and uh, it came out really great. And I had a lot of fun doing it, so that was awesome. And now I just really want a Z car for myself, so might have to might have to figure that out. Uh, if you guys want to support the channel and support me getting a Z car, head over to bsforbill.com, scroll down to the shop, and pick up a shirt or something. Before you know it, there'll be a Z shirt in there too. Um, no, but really, if you want to help support, uh, that's where you can do it. And thank you guys all so much that have already supported. Uh, you can find us social media at facebook.com slash bs for build and we're bs for build on Instagram. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Please let me know how you like this type of episode if you guys enjoy this stuff. And if you do, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That's it, guys. Peace. Come on.